All right, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I actually have a really special video because this is the first video I'm doing of like a Jordan 1 high. This is not my first Jordan 1 high that I'm unboxing. I have another one that I got before this pair. I just didn't do an unboxing in like, like on feet for whatever reason. But if you want me to make a video on that previous Jordan I got, which I'll show in a little bit, which is the Royal Toes, then let me know in the comments if you wanna see like an on feet of that shoe. But for this video, we're gonna be doing an on feet and review of the Jordan 1 High Pine Greens, the ones that just came out like, I don't know, like six, probably over six months ago. I forget like how long ago it was, but they're like the 2020 version of the original Pine Greens. We have the box right here. I already like opened it up, but we're just gonna go ahead and take out the Jordan box right here. And I freaking love these boxes. These like boxes where it's not like a, like a fold one, it's just like it comes off like this. We're gonna head and open this, open this for you guys. So you can see it right here. So we're just gonna open, take off the top. And then if you haven't seen these already, obviously you searched up this video so you know what these look like. But these right here are the Jordan 1 Pine Greens 2020. I probably already threw a picture, but if you didn't know what the previous pine greens look like, I will have a picture on the screen. They're they're pretty different than these, I would say, because they have like white and stuff, but this leather on here, I don't know if you could tell by the video, but this leather, like especially in the toe box, let's see if that'll focus. Really, really tumbled leather. And if you didn't know like what tumbled leather does, it kind of gives it that like ribby look to it where like, the leather's not like super smooth if you've seen like in other shoes. Like I'm, I'm not sure if video does this justice, but this is my pair of Jordan 1 mids and like, I don't know if you could tell, but the leather's like super smooth on here. But then if you look at these pine greens, you could tell like how it's ribbing like this. That's how it is all over, like on the swoosh on the back, on the toe box right here, but it gives it that tumbled leather look, obviously. Also, if I compare that shoe to my pair of Royal Toes that I got like not that long ago, if you can see the leather on here is pretty smooth as well. Definitely not tumbled like at all. I mean, I mean like a little bit, but definitely not as smooth as the mids. If you guys, like I said before, if you guys want me to do an on feet of these shoes right here, Definitely let me know in the comments, I'd love to do that. I like these ones more than the pine greens, but I just decided to do the unboxing and stuff of these first. But if you wanna see a video of these, let me know in the comments. Also, these come with red laces, if you didn't know that already, which I think is just to match this little Nike Air symbol right here, because this is, it's not really focusing, but this is in red. And I don't really know why they did that. I think some people were a little upset because it makes this shoe seem like Christmassy. And I, I think people would have just rather this either be black or green. It's kind of weird that they made it red, but then they threw in the red laces, I'm guessing, to match with that. Personally, I'm not gonna be putting red laces in here because I think that looks too much like Christmas. I mean, maybe around Christmas time, I'll definitely do that. But right now, I think it looks, looks a little bit too tacky. I've seen some people do it before, but we're gonna go, go ahead, grab the other pair out of here. Just check it's all good. And if you guys are wondering, I bought this off Goat, if you can see. But yeah, I bought it off Goat. There's been a lot of issues happening with StockX right now. I don't know if you guys have heard about like the issues going on with StockX. Their shipping is taking like forever. The prices of all their fees are like really high which I like understand with the shipping thing because of like the pandemic and stuff, but GOAT ships way faster and their fees and stuff aren't as expensive. It's not like a huge difference, but I got definitely got these cheaper on GOAT than I would have on StockX. Also, I just noticed this, but the little red thing right here that I mentioned earlier is actually leather. And I think people are also a little upset about that too. I don't think it's that big a deal that this is leather compared to like whatever material it is before. I don't, like, I don't think it makes like a huge difference, like I said, but I guess some people are upset about that. 
obviously it's the bottom right there but the leather on these feels like really smooth despite like the like the super tumbled leather that some people say is a little bit too tumbled i mean i don't mind it i think it looks good and even from like far away you probably won't even be able to tell that much but i think despite the tumbled leather it's pretty smooth and then the black leather parts of this shoe are not as tumbled but definitely are way smoother like this black like toe part right here feels super smooth like it's the same as this leather right here but it just seems like the leather all around the shoe is different like the green is super tumbled this leather on this part right here is different than this part a little bit like this part of the black right here is just a little bit more tumbled but then the toe here and then these part this part right here is really really smooth and really soft i would say but i'm going to lace these up really quick and then we are going to throw them on and i'm just going to show you what they look like on feet like i said with the other shoe if you want me to do uh, on feet of that with the royals with this one right here definitely let me know in the comments also I was thinking about making a video soon about how to style Jordan 1 highs. So if you also want to see that, also comment down below. But yeah, I'm going to lace this up and then we're going to get right into the on feet. I will see you there.